Oh, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another uh, Dominaria draft here on Magic Online. We're actually going to open this real pack in the meantime, uh, while we're in the middle of our first pack here. Let's see what we get here. This is our legendary. Oh, the old Garza. I don't know if that's his name or not. Garna. All right, whatever. And the rare is, what is this? Nature's, that's a Nature's Spiral. That is an uncommon. Probably just going to take Danitha here. I think she's probably the best card in the pack. And um, I think Blink of an Eye is very good. I think Pegasus Courser and Mesa Unicorn are good. Dark Bargain's fine. Goblin Barrage is actually very good. But uh, Danitha is actually surprisingly busted, I think. And the rare is a second, second Helm of the Host in the four packs I have opened. So... That's pretty good. That's a good record. Two of two of four. Two of four. Two of my four rares have been Helm of the Host. So, oh, Riff Raf Capuchin, Ship's Mage. That is pretty good. That is the dude. I, that is where I want to be in Magic: The Gathering. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna take Raf, and hopefully this Wizard's Retort comes back. That would be pretty cool. Feels statistically possible. Yeah, except for... Not. I like, I like Dreadshade and Grun. I also like Lingering Phantasm. I think it's just Glider. If we're going to go with these first two picks at all, it's going to be Glider. Although this pack is stacked with the black and the green. Grun, Baloth Gorger, and Lana War Elves are all very good. Lingering Phantasm, this guy, and both of these guys are all fine. Um, we could just play Danitha. Maybe hold off on Raph. <clears throat> Why are the lands first? I don't know. It's... I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I have no words for you. I have no answers here. Oh, what's going on, Josh? I don't think Arcane Flight is that good. I think it... I think it makes you weak to two for ones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd much rather take Wind Grace or Stronghold Confessor or Lingering Phantasm. Uh, lands are in the back in IRL packs. There's never a land in the front. Diligent Excavator. Not really what we want for our green white, our blue blue white deck. Jousting lands could be fine. Um, Pegasus Courser is probably the pick here, I think. Tantanica does make it cost one less. Jousting Lance also makes... I think it's actually Lance here. Could be Devon Trapper, actually. I like Trapper better, especially because we have two... Uh, uh, I'm actually not a big fan of Juggernaut at all. I think Juggernaut's underwhelming in this in this format. <clears throat> actually, you're not, you're not dead yet. Uh, Invoke is probably the pick here. I like Dark Bargain and Feral Abomination. I could see picking either of those if we weren't kind of in the middle here. I'm going to take Invoke. Invoke is main deckable in this format. Uh, Grun. Shepard. Spend an sorcery. <sighs> That's weird. Do I sound quieter, guys? Is my volume not... Interesting. <clears throat> Take the gateway. That sounds terrible, right? And we only have two historic permanents right now. Why don't we just take the gateway to play the gateway? Can we just play the gateway? <coughs> Alright, we're going to take the gateway. We're going to play gateway. Uh, I like Adamant Will. I think it's fine. I'll live the dream. We did it. We're going to have fun. We're having a fun draft now. I think the issue with your volume is actually your pitch. Just raise the tone of your voice and an octave and it should be fine. That's a good that's a good suggestion. I hadn't considered that. Oh, are we Lich in, are we Lich's mastering? Whatever that means. Free sword? What does that mean? Oh my god, Michael Barbobly Boo. What is <laughs> why is that a thing? Um, boo, 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 boo. we're not going to play this. 100% not going to play this. 
Whenever you lose or gain, when you're gaining life, draw that many cards. I'd rather just take like Divest. Oh god, I'll just take the Lich's Mastery. It's we're not gonna play it. Whatever. Mesa Unicorn. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> None of these cards are very good. Syncopate's actually fine. All right. Put all my six mana black cards in the sideboard, I guess. <clears throat> yep, glider is pretty good. We can just put in the free with temporal gateway. I have to sneeze again. <coughs> Whew. Whew. <clears throat> if you if I play Lich's Matra, you'll pay for the next draft. Okay, well that's actually a pretty good deal. I think that's worth doing it. <laughs> I also don't dislike either of these, so we'll see. If the deck comes together, we'll play it. So what does it say? Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one card less exile permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. Ugh. That's scary, though. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, <clears throat> I'm reluctant to make it work, but we'll see. Also, we're not getting any black cards here. You may return another target historic permanent you control to its owner's hand. You may. Whatever, maybe we mill them. We have four historic cards so far. Maybe we're milling. <clears throat> yeah, Chris Android, sure. Mastery is real bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, yeah, it, it, it looks real bad. It doesn't look good. I think that's why we have to be convinced to play it and not, uh, not windmill slamming it. This card's actually fine. I think this guy on seven is is decent. I mean, I just want to be able to get our, our, our temporal gate ray back with our excavation elephant. I think that's a reasonable that's a reasonable strategy, right? <laughs> this card is so restricting. Oh, that's that's insane. It's not good insane, but it's insane. Return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's all it's also legendary, it's not historic. If it was historic, I could see it. Because then we can just pick a bunch of artifact stuff and feel good about it, but I'm just going to take Cloud Reader Sphinx here. We can get the mastery back. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, I don't know how it would... Oh, um, this is not good in Limited. <laughs> but it's actually probably good in our deck. I don't know if it's better than Call the Cavalry, but I think it could be. 
I mean, it, it, it pumps other wizards, and we do have some wizards. We have Raph. We have... That's probably the only wizard we have. But it is another historic card, so it does trigger those. I like Call the Cavalry a lot. Yes, legendary historic. Historic cards are artifacts, legendaries, and sagas. So, yeah, we'll just take the mythic. <clears throat> this is also a wizard, so I'm actually tempted to just take this guy um, to buff my wizards. And it helps us cast our syncopates. I mean, the other option is Ace Tear Glider or Pegasus Courser, but we'll likely have a lot of floaters anyway. Tetsuko seems amazing. Well, let's take Tetsuko, and we can take all the three ones and two ones we can find. Yeah, that seems good. I'm going to take it over Reproach because it's uncommon. Reproach is common, so, <clears throat> you know, that's how you do. Black Red Dude was free? What does that mean? What are you saying, Neros? Are you saying because Thran Temporal Gateway? I don't know if that works the way you think it works. Yeah, it's probably just you. <coughs> I think our deck is pretty good so far. I don't. I'm not. I'm not sold on Thran Temporal Gateway here, but. I mean, two of our legendaries, our, our historic cards, have flash anyway. So we're basically just putting in Tetsuko or Danitha or Ace Tear Glider at instant speed, which is not great. <coughs> oh, wow. Just more wizards. A wizard in the battlefield would cause a triggered ability of a permanent control. That ability triggers additional time. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Does it? Do wizards trigger anything? I don't think so. Yeah, not really. Pretty sure it's just blink of an eye here. <coughs> Three Karns so far in draft, and two of them in next have been insane. Wow. Wow. You think you know a guy. Yeah, so that way if we if we play a spell, um, and then we end up and when, and then we end up having four additional mana to copy it. Ooh, weight of memory. That seems good. Let's let's take a weight of memory. I want to draw cards. This deck seems good so far. But I could be totally wrong. Uh real time to just take this sorcerer's wand here. Is that good? I didn't say it was good, just that it did a thing. Okay, fair. Fair. Wait, when did I say Tron's a cool deck? When does that what does that have to do with right now? <coughs> Yeah, we're going to take Wand here. This is just a wizard. I'll just, I will just—I think I'd rather just have the Invoke the Divine here. I don't actually care about Scholar. Eh, whatever. Boy. It's not looking good here. Well, these last few picks aren't anyway. What if water sports car knows you hate Tron? That's why he's not you know. Oh, that's really sad. You're probably right. Kflix with the 50 bits. Thank you so much, man. Always a pleasure, buddy. I think Shard is playable. I, I don't disagree with you. We can put it in the main deck for now. I got one more pack here. You want to open this? Want to open this last pack? I do. So I can see my third helm of the host. You ready? Arvad. That's good. It's a good uncommon. And what do we got here? Mishra's self replicator. Oh my god. So these packs were literally just dirtily limited artifacts, is what we got. 
Here's two Helm of the Hosts, a Mishra Self-Replicator in our in our five packs. I don't even know what the other rares were. Probably nothing good. Oh, the first eruption was one. And... Ariel. Okay, so... The Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, what does Antiquities War do? Look at the top five cards. Maybe roll an artifact from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. Artifacts you control. Yeah, that's not good. I think I might have opened the Dirt Laria packs instead of the uh, Dominaria packs, unfortunately. This card's not good, right? <laughs> Maybe this card is good just because we can make all our, our gliders 5-5s five for a turn. I don't know if that's good or not. I, I think this is better than Deep Freeze or Divination here. I think the potential of it is stronger, so I'm going to take it. I like a Gideon's Reproach here. That's pretty easy. Oh, Quem, Quem, Quende. Quende. Uh, another glider. I don't think we want a third glider. I think we'd rather just have the Quende. Put the Antiquities War on the sideboard for now. I think the potential of the Antiquities War is higher than the, the value of the other one. We also have Sparring Construct in the sideboard that we can play. Oh, God, this is worth splashing, but I don't really have a way to do it. I think that's still the pick. Should have been dead on a Quende morning. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just take the trapper. Oh, God. Oh, it's so, it feels so bad passing Ariel. We could grab, like, a compass or two, um, but they aren't making cuts, dude. <laughs> you have gateway. I think this is uh, this is another card where the potential is higher than uh, the, the value we'd get from the other guy. So here's the funny thing. I kind of want knight because it goes really well with Tetsuko, but I also want, I think, knight of... Gr I think this knight is actually better, so... Uh, I think we got to go with this because it's better on its own. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Oh, and an Arvad? Oh, man. Man, they're trying to really incentivize me here. Good lord, what are you trying to do to me? Magic the Gathering. I think it's just Call to the Cavalry. Call the Cavalry here. I think it's Arvad and we aggressively pick up uh, the 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 compasses if we see them. Eh, we'll just take Healing Grace because there's literally nothing else in this pack for us. Oath of... T hey, compass. How This is this is the third Oath of Tefri we'd seen in, in two drafts. That's pretty funny. I'm going to take this compass and I'm going to put it in my main deck. Deep Freeze is good. Glad you came back. And another Syncopate. Alright, you you'll be played. Another another Trapper, another Invoke, which we have two of. We have bo two of both of these, don't we? No, we have... We have we only one of these. It's probably you. Uh, Alright, Excavator can come out because we have no other... Well, we're not going to mill you. Let's, let's be real. We're not milling anybody. What are we taking out on three? Power Stone Shard can come out. Sparring Construct. Man, maybe we are playing the Antiquities Wall. Take out Elephant. You're not a very impressive Elephant. Uh, before you nay nay, first you whip it. And then you nay nay. That's the order you go in, buddy. Well, we got one Navigation Compass. Is that enough? I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. First you bits. And then you nay nay. That's pretty, that's pretty accurate. I think two is two sources of black enough? Maybe three? Maybe. <coughs> I think these are definitely worth playing. <laughs> we also have a lot of legendaries now. Well, a lot of historic cards in our deck. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Look at all these historic cards we have. 11 historic cards? My god. Could be 12. So this is 24 cards. We need one cut. Probably wand, right? How many wizards do we have? It's really got to be on a wizard for it to matter. I don't think war comes in. It doesn't, like, we got to search for artifacts, right? That doesn't make any sense. We only have three artifacts. Like, I'm not going to bring in a war for three artifacts. Uh, they're not they're not great with uh, against the removal, but they are great with Tetsuko and and like there's, I don't think that that removal is that common. I think this is actually the deck. I actually kind of like this a lot. This deck seems strong. <clears throat> Five compasses and one and sw one swamps seems fine. Wow, that was aggressive. Um, I think eight eight one. I'm okay with eight eight one. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Give me one second. I'm going to use the restroom and I'll be right back. Also get a drink. I'm going to multitask here, guys. Multitask. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. I always say welcome back, even though I'm the one coming back. All right. <clears throat> uh, 
I will play first. I will <sighs> mulligan this hand, I think. Hmm. What is my go-to Chinese food order? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. My my like so. Here's oh god. Here we go again. So normal Chinese food, I kind of dislike just because the the quality just feels bad. Like I always feel like the meat is real rubbery and not great. So. Like, typically one of my favorite Chinese, my one of my favorite Asian restaurants is Pei Wei, which is like fast casual. And there, I will get the Kung Pao chicken, which is probably one of my favorite dishes ever. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Give me one land. One, one plains. We'll be good to go. All right, well. That's kind of like a plains, but it's not. I'm not really a peanuts man, to be quite honest, but um, their Kung Pao, like the sauce is very, very good. The chicken is always super fresh and it tastes like it's actual real meat and not like stringy, like low grade meat. Hey, we did it, boys. And they're playing black cards. What a time to be alive. My favorite part, uh, my, my favorite part, I mean my least favorite part, is at the end of the month when the Twitch subs, uh, the Twitch Prime subs start expiring. And so even if I get like multiple subs in a row, uh, the goal, my goal is actually lower than it was when I started. And I'm like, good times, good times. What is my favorite peanut containing candy and why is it peanut butter M&M's? Um... You know, sometimes people just don't know when, when to quit. It's not really Asian unless it has bamboo in its name. You know, for some reason that doesn't feel incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no attack there. All right, that's pretty good. Target player. Target player puts top three. I'll mill you. Mill you. Oh, Wild Onslaught, Death Boom Thalad, and all right, three, three spells. And we hit no lands, which is kind of interesting. If we hit a land, we can play Double Trapper. That's pretty good. If we don't, we can just play Sphinx, I guess. Seems fine all around. <clears throat> oh, now you want to attack. Okay. 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 Funny joke. Wow, that's impressive. Uh-huh. 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 Well. That's a thing. Oh boy. <coughs> Here we go. Funny joke, don't have kicker thing.
Oh my god. What is going on here? Oh, I see. <laughs> so they can just attack with this guy and kill us if they have like a pump spell? Oh my god. Crying out loud. This is terrifying because like... If we single block with a creature, they deal a seven, and like two attacks with this guy, and we're dead. I think we have to double block with two very good cards to get rid of a stupid idiot. I think we're just dead here. They just pump and make sure the damage is dealt to our face. Oh my god, what a what is going on? Okay, well, we went the damage, so that's pretty good. Thorn is the best creature in the format? Wow. I mean, it costs seven mana. I don't know if that's true. But I can see why, I th I can see why you'd consider it. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that's good. I think we're probably just playing Cloud Rider Sphinx here, though, so we can hit lands or mana or whatever. So they didn't play anything. You're being very rude to that stupid idiot, Frank. It's not his fault he's big, green, and dumb. That's true. Um, I don't want either of these, really. I kind of like Tetsuko just because we can play Trapper and then also tap their thing, but not at instant speed, right? Well, I guess if we play Wrath followed by Trapper. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually pretty good. We can put you on top and you on the bottom. Yep, kill a thing. Wow, all right. Oh, come on. I guess that's fine. <laughs> I forgot we're at 10. I thought we were at like 3 because of the stupid Thorn Elemental, but... More like flavored crust for Tuesday. That's pretty good. Wow. Okie dokie. Why is this game so hard, man? It's pretty much game. We kind of just chump block this forever. No, oh, tap your idiot down. If, if they didn't untap their next turn, that'd be great, but... <clears throat> so what have we had to deal with? Seven power guy, rare, seven power guy, seven power guy. All right. Along with Wild Onslaught. Mono Uncommons dot deck over here. God, we're one minute shy from actually like playing both things. Block here, we take four, tap this guy down. I doubt they attack here. Or I doubt they attack after we tap down the primordial worm, but It's a good draw. All these draws have been very good for you.
Come at me, bro. Put me to two. Yeah, do that. I don't think they're going to. Yep. Didn't think so. Oh. Thought, no, okay. Well, you let me know what you decide. <clears throat> Good work. Just gonna keep up keep up will here. Three, four, five, we can go block, block, take five, add him at will next turn. We can just win. Three, four, five, three, four, five. Let's just try to win. They get one draw step and we can just try to win here. We can keep will for for the future. This guy's gonna get trample, right? Oh, if a sapperling was never mind, we don't get to win. That sucks. <laughs> Oh, great. Gain two life. God, this... Why? Why do you do that tacked on? Oh, God, the set. What even? All oh, sack of sapperling. You got it. <clears throat> I'm going to 9 and get to keep my Mesa. So even if we even if our plan worked, they just drew the perfect card, so it doesn't matter. Congratulations. I literally have no way to get around that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh boy. This board is unbelievable. Like, they have a flying blocker, so we have to deal with that. They have this guy that they can gain eight life from, so we have to deal with that. We didn't attack with... Oh, I guess I was there. There's a reason. <laughs> That'll do it. Nailed it. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game here. Amp, thanks so much, buddy. Congrats on your 3-0 draft. We got a deep freeze in the sideboard. Where is that when you need it? Take the invoked out. I don't know if this is an invoke <clears throat> deck that we're playing against. Syncopate also seems real good against the deck with the uh, multiple 7,000 drops. <coughs> I will play first. I will keep this hand. This suspect hand. With all the colors of the wind. Okay, hear me out. Lich's Mastery. Well, hmm. About that. That was a very good draw. If they can play something for 7,000 mana, they can probably pay for our single pay. That's only true if they didn't spend all 7,000 of it on the creature. So.
Oh, the old Battle of the One Threes, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I will not attack you. <clears throat> Let's get in there with this devant devant trapper. It's from the French. Devenant dev de devenant trapper. There is no blocks to be had today. <clears throat> I will play my beard. My my flying beard. I'm going to block here, and if you want to kill this guy somehow, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> Didn't seem worth it to me, but all right. I didn't even care about that guy. Joke's on you. <clears throat> what I don't understand is if you're going to let us force you into drafting the Lich's Master, why aren't you going to let us force you into... Oh, I just want to counter this because I don't really feel like having you block and do a thing Ugh. why aren't you going to let us force you into playing it seems kind of unfair to us did you watch super troopers 2 your friend jack was on? i have not seen super troopers 2 yet um god i just want to counter this is it worth it like it's a three five just blocks here I think countering is better because I'd rather just keep my guy on the board. <clears throat> we can also tap their whatever they play down next turn. Like we have a we have a good we have a good amount of pressure right now. They're at eleven, <clears throat> which is a two turn clock. If they play a guy, we can tap that guy and kill this guy. So And if you have another trick, <clears throat> that's fine. Let it resolve. You did not. Okay. Uh, bottom the island and top the raft. <clears throat> Joke's on you. They don't even have a guy. <laughs> what a sucker. He tried to he tried to keep a guy up to tap a guy, and they didn't even have a guy. They're dead. All right. And then we killed you. Unfortunately, we already had six in the air, but now we have eight in the life. Ground nine, ten, killed you, dead. All right, I'm going to open another pack because I like opening packs. And and we got this box of Dominaria sitting here, so let's do that. So right before going to game three, we're going to open a pack. Why? I don't know. I like opening packs. I thought I said that already, but whatever. All right, fold this bad boy over. All right, first pack. Well, it's not random. Oh, we're open. We're not randomly. We've been opening packs the whole time. I think we will eventually open the whole box, but right now we got this dude. Little little slime foot. Okay, okay. Seems okay. And rare is a fall of Thran. Okay, well, that's not very exciting, but. And then we have an Icy, a, a Knight of Malice, and that's it because the Slime Foot was the uncommon, so. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> sure. I think our deck is good like this. I think we put in all the things we want. 
What do you think of the new coating on the cards? I can't really even tell, to be honest with you. That was never a thing that I really, like, noticed. So, like, it's I don't really notice it more now. I heard a rumor on Reddit that you hate opening packs. God, I love opening packs. Reddit's, Reddit's a bunch of liars. Also, Joey Jojo Shabadoo Jr. is probably the best Twitch name I've ever heard. So, kudos to you, Joey Jojo Shabadoo Jr. Your father named you well. <clears throat> this hand's actually looking pretty solid. Quende giving Danitha, Danica, Danitha, Danitha double strike is pretty good. New card smell is the best smell. And that's all I have to... What is? Look at these. Look at these dirtlers they're playing. I actually don't know where that's from, but I feel like I might if I thought about it. I'm going to Google it right now. Oh my god, it's from The Simpsons. That makes total sense. That's <laughs> so good. Oh, it's so good. Is there some special distribution? Yeah, Bier Bjorn. Uh, the last card in the pack after the... Uh, right before, I guess. Before the... Um, what do you call it? Before the rare? Or before the... It goes... Rare, legendary, land. And you always get a, you always get a legendary in your pack. So, yeah. <clears throat> well, we're not attacking here. Because that just seems bad. Bad. I don't want to look up because as soon as I look up, my uh, my Danith is dead. No, oh, she's not dead. All right, well, soon. Oh, nothing. No soon. Okay. Well, I would have liked to kill this guy, but the legendary is not. No, the legendary could be rare. <clears throat> The last time I got, I opened, I opened this just earlier in the stream. This was in the place of the legendary spot, Ariel. <clears throat> Since I came back to Magic, I played almost exclusively online, and honestly, what I really miss is the smell of new cards. Yeah, the smell of new cards is a real thing. Isn't Joey Jojo a Simpsons joke? Yes, it is. That is what we were just referring to, actually. But if your rare is legendary, that won't be... Yeah, so if your rare is legendary... No, you don't get double rares. And I just went over this as well, Bjorn. Um, if you actually... If the, if your legendary is a rare, then you just don't have a, a rare in the rare slot. Uh, we didn't cast Quende first main because we wanted them to block with this guy. And uh, then we get to Gideon's reproach it. If we cast Quende, then they can just, they know they can trade or they know they can chump block. So. <clears throat> Quende. You got it. Uh. Let's adamant will. If you if you go tap two for the other thing, you have one, two, three, we can we are not in good shape to do the thing. Sure. We'll just trade here if you if you want to trade. <clears throat> okay, Adamant Will is actually insanely strong here because now they don't have They can sack again, make a 5-5. Five, five, or a 7-7, seven, seven, rather. Pretty sure we're just Gideon's. 
Fearzors, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. If we do this, like, we got eight more damage, right? So, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, they could just clear their board. I think we just trade here. <clears throat> Oh, we're not trading, actually. We're indestructible. I don't know why I was going to Gideon's Reproach there. I forgot about the Gideon's Reproach. My bad. <laughs> that was that was, that was was rife amateur hour there. I forgot about that. I'm like, oh, but if we if we Gideon's Reproach, we get to save. Never. <clears throat> I'll never let you do that. How did my trip pre release go? Pro went pretty well. I had a good time. I, I like the format a lot. Um, I also can't wait for standard. I'm just going to keep playing lands because, God, YOLO, am I right? <coughs> I will double eat this guy. Oh, you're not going to let me do that? Wild Onslaught, 2 4. Don't be killing my Danica. Danica. What's her name? The, the, the racing one. Danica Patrick? Is that her name? Am I going to be brawling? I will probably do some brawling, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yes. Put you on top. Eh, you can go on the bottom. See you later. Bye. I feel like we're in good shape here. They're just going to play like land seven drop seven drop though, right? That is not that is not it, my friend. Oh, that was so rude. Now we get to drop five here, so that's pretty good. Mill you. Hopefully we hit all of your good cards. Come on, all the good cards. Put them in the graveyard. None of your good cards, and we hit, like, basically nothing here. The problem is I don't really want to attack into them with anything. They just go double block here. Mm. I guess that's actually fine. What put us to 30? We have a Danitha right on the board with double strike. <coughs> yep, double, double. Hey, now we're talking. <clears throat> Man, now Vidalian Arcanist can get in there. Really? You know what? That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. You got it. <coughs> My syncopate is much better spent on cards I care about. We're going to keep playing lands because if we draw something big, we want to be able to play it and have maximum syncopate mana. So, Danica, Danitha is, is definitely close to one of the best creatures in the format. I actually am surprised at how problematic that card is to deal with. Oh, never. No. Can you imagine if we uh, if we just countered this and then they just ran a feral abomination and we had no way to deal with it? That'd be amateur hour, right? Oh, that's a flash wizard. <clears throat> what does it say? Historic 
Creatures you control with first strike have double strike. Okay. Sure, Lyra was actually probably better, but I mean, like, as far like, there's probably a bunch of rares better. Um, <clears throat> but I would say that like the um, as far as uncommons and commons, Danith is probably the best creature there is. Got him. That'll do, pig. We could we could end the game at thirty seven life. That's pretty good, right? <clears throat> oh, better than slime foot. Um, I don't. That's a good. Nah, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of good. There's a lot of good uh, things. I think the only problem with slime foot is that it's two colors and it also is. Uh, it, it's very mana intensive. Where Danitha, you just actually put her in the red zone every turn. And it's very good. <coughs> Was there a card we bought in that we... I, I, I wonder if we went, just want Deep Freeze in the main deck. I don't know. I think our deck looks good. Yeah, we're splashing the Nightmaker off of... Uh, Wait, aren't we supposed to have two swamps in the deck? I thought we were supposed to have two swamps. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to add another swamp. I thought we had two swamps in the deck. Weird. I guess it didn't put two swamps. I guess we only put one. we got here the old one lander well we're gonna ship it all right this has everything we need i'm gonna keep that on top actually because drawing three seems good oh my god you guys with the stir constar out of date is is ridiculous What up, butts and stuff? <laughs> oh, good lord. Wow, double Knight of Malice, huh? That's pretty good. Boy, do I even want to play this when I take two extra damage? I don't know. This is kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh variant, actually. <clears throat> oh, God. Yep, Double Knight seems good. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that our opponent can just play Double Knight of Malice and kill us. That's good. <clears throat> Block here, go to three, huh? It's just mono black? Are they mono black? What's going on right now? <clears throat> oh my god, the triple... What is... What even, dude? Oh my god. Just stop it.
That's disgusting. I vomited a little bit right there. <clears throat> oh God, what even? Why, 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 why? I'm taking Voke out. I'm gonna bring in one three blue guy and deep freeze. Oh, I also like second syncopate in the deck. Not on the draw though. We'll bring that in next game. Hands good if we can hit lands, but good lord, we're on the play. Come on. Oh, God. Whatever. Yeah, double blue. You can go away. <clears throat> Come on, lands. Cut white seems good. That was a good draw. The arena's full. Frank's getting toasty in his wool. Mike's missing in action, so maybe the stream won't get the same amount of traction. Luckily, we're both blue, white, splashing some black, which is pretty tight. Here's to Frank's awesome skill while we just, while we in chat just chill. That's nice. I like it. Can we draw a blue card? A blue mana? Any mana. I'll take any mana. I ain't picky. Guess it doesn't matter. All right. I will not block this guy. Are rhyming Twitch chats a thing on other streams? I feel like they're pretty common here. Um, I think it's common because they get in rap battles. So, Zaxor, Oh My God Zoro, a couple others love... Uh... Oh, that was a good draw. Actually, it was probably Raph. I wanted to play Raph at instant speed, but I think we... Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, ho, ho, ship's capitan. <clears throat> I guess you go to one here, and, and both of our games are just as lopsided as uh, as the other. And we have double flyers, so even if they manage to get two lands in play this turn, they have to kill both flyers. Seems unlikely as we still debate whether the whether they're going to be able to deal with that <clears throat> as we go to game three. Okay, uh, we're probably going to bring another syncopate. I think we're I think we're being silly not syncopating. How much life are we at? Weren't we at like a million life? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're just like 13. <clears throat> cut one card. Probably cut. We're at 11? Yeah, I mean, that's still, that's still a lot. Yeah, we had eight power on board. We also weren't attacking with Raph. Like, we just had Raph to hold back. Like, we had a blocker. It's not like we had... They'd have to have a removal spell and a way to pump all three other guys. Like, So they have charge, removal spell... Uh, that deals three, so like, it had to be <clears throat> vicious hunger, sack and attacker. I mean, doesn't seem super likely. Hmm. God, I just want to cut compass. Is that greedy? <clears throat> I mean, we're on the play. I kind of like syncopate on the play a lot. I'm going to cut the compass. 
we actually have a lot of cards. Right? Blink of the eye. We blink of blink of an eye. We have weight of memory. We have double scry with cloud or sphinx. Yeah, just approves on the right page. Oh, we're, we actually lost another sub. I love it. I love Twitch Prime. It's my favorite. No, I do love Twitch Prime. It's great. <laughs> but it is frustrating that people have to be like, you, you have to remember to actually subscribe. And like, sometimes you're going to subscribe to someone else, which is great. But <clears throat> there's always these discouraging moments where at the end of each month or when, at the end of like, whenever the subs uh, expire and they have to renew, um, you start seeing like a drop off in like tw the, the Twitch Prime subs you got. No, chat was actually recommending we play a compass because we have Arvad and Ariel, which are just great splashes. So, I mean, you're offsetting the the cost of playing a compass is really offset by playing two very very powerful black cards. So, <clears throat> can I give back my sub? No, probably not. I only sub to Yargle mains. Oh god, that's the worst. Well, I'm never getting it now. Uh, Twitch Prime sub it does not allow you to auto renew. So if you subscribe regularly through like just just a regular tier one Twitch subscription, um, you're able to it, it auto renews. So it's a it's just you know month after month you get you get subscription. Uh, Twitch Twitch Prime sub is only good for one month, and then you have to manually renew it. <clears throat> Amped, really appreciate it, man. Um, what is the usual turnaround time for a reply to an email? Um, depends on what the email is, really. I have no idea, though. Uh, I don't like this hand at all. We can't play the cards we do have. Uh, I don't know who Shroud is. This hand is very keepable, and you can go. I mean, considering our opponent last game had Triple Knight of Malice, like, I don't really want to be on the slow end of that. Yeah, I'm going to block this guy. Two drop for two drop sounds good. Yep, you got it. <clears throat> Uh, I don't think I care about having Tetsuko out. I think I'd rather just uh, syncopate whatever they do. I don't. Connor Ryan, what is that? Wow, Shroud has more than 3 million followers. That's pretty. That's a good amount. <clears throat> I do not have that many, unfortunately. Zephis, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. I like 309. I like that. That's a good number. That's actually what we're hoping for, because now we can play this guy and keep up syncopate last turn if we had it, but <clears throat> still fine. I'll take it. Yep, that's a good one. Yep, that's a that's an okay one, I guess. That's a good one. Looking for that swamp. Oh, we found it. Put you on top. And you can never come back again. Actually, we can block you, so we'll do that. <coughs> come on, Cloud Reader Sphinx. Do your do your business. Oh, God. 
Oh, yes. Oh, we held him off. Oh, yeah, we'll get my wolf riders. They didn't have a thing last turn, so I guess we'll just attack here. Unless they needed six mana for it. Oh, they're going to expel our aerial and attack for a million. It's going to be so bad, dude. I don't know if expel is the correct card, but... Oh, God. Here comes six. Yep, Blessed Light. That's exactly what we're thinking of. So, exactly how we thought it was going to go. That's unfortunate. And land, so that's cool. <laughs> Welcome to Magic, where when you're way, way behind, you can predict exactly what's going to happen with uh, pinpoint accuracy. <clears throat> we put planes on top? No, we didn't. Just stop it. Look, we put one on top, one on the bottom. It says right here, bottom. Frank, put, put a card on the bottom. That was planes. Put a card on the top. Definitely didn't do what you think we did. Yeah, I'll Knight of Grace. Knight of Grace, your grace. <clears throat> wow, two one ones. I see. <clears throat> oh, very interesting. So deep freeze on here is less prop means means they can't get a one one. Deep freeze on here means they're oh god, oh god and again. Wait. Oh, they just target. Oh, okay, that's fine. We don't can't, we don't lose any life here, and we can actually deep freeze that idiot. Isn't this a second opponent that's had this against us? <laughs> Don't have any float. No, all right. We're just going to be aggressive here. This makes this guy... Nope, there we have no wizards here. That is unfortunate. So this is just a 3-3 flash that we can tap a guy down with. Which we'll probably do. <coughs> Alternatively, we can just let them attack. We can chump block, and then we can actually probably get some good attacks here. Divest. Well, now we're not going to do that because... Let me just get the free card. Tap you down. This is match two. So we got three blockers. We can go three two on here. Three no, that doesn't seem good. Three two, three three. Don't care about the one one. Block here or here. Probably here takes six. We're not gonna block with the one three, is really the thing, so. <clears throat> Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got real scared for some reason. I don't even know why. <clears throat> I don't even know what I was afraid of. Just this guy, huh? So you deal three here. It doesn't have, like... Yeah, sure. That's fine. <clears throat> this is a good trade. I'll trade my 3-3 three, three wizard for your 3-2.
All right, they're at six, and we have five power on board. Can we draw Adamant Will? Yep, don't care about that guy. All right, well, we got another turn. Stay of execution. <clears throat> well, that does tap a dude down. Like, there's just no reality where we're not... Or maybe there is a reality where we're blocking with Tetsuo. Let's mill you two and see what happens. We'll tap down this guy. I don't think it matters. Oh, Evra. I don't think either of those mattered, to be quite honest. <clears throat> they couldn't cast either, so it might be even better just to leave those, but... Wow, the double Evra deck. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Mill one, had one in hand the whole time. That's pretty funny. <clears throat> Alright, well, we're 2-0. That's pretty good. Three ones and two ones are pretty good with Tetsuko. You are not wrong. This hand is a, is a sneeper. What up, the boost wig? Uh, we sealed yesterday, right? Um, Sunday? Saturday? We sealed one of the two days of the weekend. We sealed Sunday. No, Saturday. Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Wow, that was a nightmare. <laughs> well, that was an emotional roller coaster, wasn't it? <clears throat> Sunday. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Would you? Know, that was a good draw. Next time we can go Raph into Quende. That's pretty good. <clears throat> mm, that's not going to do it. All right, we're going to pass here. This hand can only get better with Howie. Bro. <laughs> Every day is Chicken Sunday. It's hard to... It's hard to uh, really ascertain what day we did a thing when every day is chicken Sunday. So I guess I could say we did it on chicken Sunday, but you know, what, what information are you really going to glean from that? I guess I will not block your two, two flyer. Oh, <clears throat> what do you do? Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat big, 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 big.
Favorite thing I've done in this format so far? That is a good question. I'm not sure I know, to be quite honest with you. Eight, seven minutes swinging on turn three. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is not a bad thing to be doing in this format. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just taking two here. We could tap it down with Wrath, but I'd rather just actually play Wrath and respond to a thing they do. x star creature where X number of wizards you control. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we just add them at will now? Do not kill. That's a 3-3-2? Three, three, I thought it was a 3-2. Woof. We'll just Quende here. This gets a lot of damage in. Seven if they don't block. They lose an Arcanist if they do. Seems good. It's a lot of damage. <clears throat> they still have four cards? Good lord, man. Third pick Helm of the Host? Good lord. Well, that's good to know. Unfortunately, on the downside, two of your two of your draft pod uh, clearly had strokes. So, I would definitely recommend getting them to a hospital. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys heard that. If you didn't hear it, then nothing happened. And uh, no apology needed. No blocks. So you're playing the sword, but you're not equipping the sword. Oh, you are equipping the sword. Well, then. <coughs> I feel like we just play this guy. They have two cards. I think we're in good shape here. Bottom you. One, two, three, four. We can actually play Wrath and this next turn. I'll keep that. I think that's a good amount of damage. I, mean, I assume they have at least one burn spell. I'm watching YouTube videos mostly and I'm lazy to type it out in a bar whenever it was shown. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Yeah, I can understand that because you have to type in like youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals H I S D J B T H E R Y. Totally. I mean, no one wants to be doing that. <clears throat> oh, interesting. That would have been good because then this guy, both of these guys would have been, been, been pumped. So. Looks like we made a, what's known as a correct play. <laughs> you just get another five with this guy? Five alive, my friend. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take five. My wife just bought me some recalls just because she heard me coughing. Wow, that's actually a good deal, buddy. Hmm. 
So what do we do if we tap down you and tap down you, right? They get one blocker. And then we have we also have one blocker on the block back. So they go block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a gamble, but I think it's a I think it's a positive gamble. I mean, even if we block here, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so we don't die. So they have to have a removal spell for a three three removal spell for a guy right now. And if this guy has to block to survive, then uh, that's even better. <clears throat> yeah, I have a feeling they have something. Probably blink, sure. Like you do. Block here. So you take five. All right. <clears throat> but we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight float. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have ten damage. So now you just have to find a way to kill this guy, right? If you can deal with my 3 3, we're dead. So, do we take 6 or do we go to 2? I think we go to 2 here. Yeah, this feels better. I don't think there's a card that can kill us at two that can't kill us at three. <clears throat> and did we get it? That was quick. Oh, I think we did it. All right. Got him. <clears throat> That's pretty solid. What a rewarding experience. All right, compass comes out. We're on the draw. What do they have? A bunch of bunch of wizards. I think Invoke is fine here. <clears throat> You're a wizard lightning, Hattie. I'm going to bring in the deep freeze. What do we take out? We took out the thing. Deep freeze is good. It blanks their their plus wizard. Do they lose creature types? Loses bands and it loses all abilities and has a blue all. No, it doesn't lose its type, though. <clears throat> what up, Brian? Flight was fine. Did you just fly here and boy, your boy, your arms are tired. Oh my god! Oh my god! I feel like I can't actually encourage the jokes you're making here, Slider Man. I kind of just want the other syncopate, even though we're on the draw. I'll take it. I like syncopates, and I cannot lie. And we got this gas hand. 
I don't know why she did that. Uh, aerial glider is necessary evil. That sounds perfect. That is a that is a, a fantastic description of a steer glider. So it's basically uh, it goes well with a lot of things. It's a historic card. Uh, it's unblockable with uh, Tetsuko. It's a flyer in a format that doesn't have a tremendous amount of flyers. So yes, it's definitely a necessary evil. It does a lot of things that you kind of need to be done. I don't know. <clears throat> That's actually that's actually great because it lets us use this Gideon's approach this turn. Ba boom 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 ba boom boom ba boom boom boom. Six mana to copy our Gideon's approach is actually pretty good, or six mana to copy Adam it will. Okay. It's not very mature, but whatever, bro. Playing Na Naru here is probably just better. Just a 3-3 three, three at, at instant speed seems fine. Oh, nothing, huh? And then we draw land and get to play Cloud Reader Sphinx, I guess. I'm sure they're going to syncopate this. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, for two. Seems good. I don't have one mana, but two is fine. Oh, boy. I want both of these, even though I don't have a black. Holy smokes, what do we do? Is it worth taking a card we can't cast for... I don't want you to be on the bottom of the library, I'll be honest with you. I think this card's strong enough to be put on the top. And I think this card is also strong enough to be put on the top. So we're just going to take both. We'll play Mesa, Unicorn, and Glider next turn. Um, turn after that, we'll play Avon Brigadier. <laughs> I just made that up. <clears throat> yeah, we just kept it. We just kept it because, like, the problem is if we draw a Swamp at any point, um, it's just a it's just a colorless land. But I'd rather actually have a blank card in my hand that is extremely powerful if we draw a Swamp um, than put the extremely powerful card on the bottom and don't draw anything and don't have any use for a swamp if we draw it if that makes sense Ooh, I get to replay my Sphinx? God, I think they really didn't want to do that. Watch, it's going to be Swamp Ariel. Well, now we can put you on the bottom and then just draw you. Still fine. I mean, we're lucky we're probably just doing anything, but we have four cards we can actually cast in our hands, so I'm not like... Not like terribly concerned that our opponent isn't doing anything. We just have different plays if our opponent was doing things. So now, any swamp in this card just gas. We deal two? Okay. My unicorn! Yeah, we can race here. I'm feeling comfortable with a race. We got seven points on board and an adamant will. <clears throat> this is good for us because it just lets us block as well, which is insane. This negates your entire attack and your second fire fist adapt, which is just busted. <laughs> like you do.
Ah, I think we just three owed. Hi oh This is why we keep the this is why we keep the aerial. Alright, we'll open one more pack. They have to get rid of two flyers this turn. I don't think that's happening. Thank you. Secret Alien, thank you so much for the two month sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Alright, you guys ready? Last pack. A br a baird. Baird. A uh a bear baird. Well, our opponent did manage to play a thing. <clears throat> no, all of our guys are good against that. Wizard's Lightning. Okay. All right, you go to one. I'm okay with that. We get to play Raph and we get to make a, a guy this turn is really good. And the rare? I don't know what this is. Verdant Force. All right. Well, that's exciting. It was mono green, so. Oh, Sorcerer's Wand. Well, we're just going to play Flyer and kill you now. Got him. <clears throat> Burden Force. Good card. Good card. And then we have Thorn Elemental, Song of Frailies, and Thalid. So not bad. I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's bad. Who knows? I just play this game. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And I'll see you guys next time.